Motorcycle riders are 28 times more likely to die in a crash than someone in a car. That's according to the National Highway Safety Traffic Administration. Just this week, a rider died in North Las Vegas in a hit and run. These crashes leading to some call to, to call for change, rather. Joshua Piguero spoke to a man who wants local lawmakers to intervene. Josh Taupis is a veteran and a longtime motorcycle rider who decided last year he's no longer riding on Valley Streets. You can be as defensive as you want. Um, you're always looking for a driver to pull out in front of you, but you, you only have a split second, and sometimes you just don't have that reaction time. And if somebody's going to pull out in front of you, I mean, there's sometimes there's no avoiding it. Taupis launched a change.org petition to call attention to this issue. He has more than 1,500 signatures, and it continues to grow. Taupa says he wants harsher penalties for those who crash into motorcyclists. Just seeing so many people, especially here in Vegas, getting killed, I mean, especially car versus motorcycle, uh, seems like every at least once a week. This week, police say a moped with two passengers was rear-ended in North Las Vegas at the intersection of Belmont Street and Dillon Avenue. Both weren't wearing helmets, and a woman rider was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators aren't asking for help in finding the pickup truck that hit them. These motorcycle riders are learning behaviors that will reduce their chances of being involved in a crash rather than eliminate it. The College of Southern Nevada has a beginner's motorcycle course. Lori Sanders is one of the instructors. Whether it's a car or whether it's a motorcycle, many of the crashes that happen are a result of somebody's poor decision, poor choice. The course is five hours of online learning and two days of meeting and riding. Sanders says motorcyclists can protect themselves by wearing a helmet and cars by just slowing down. How many times on your way to work are you stopped, the roads closed because somebody else made a poor decision? Sanders adds that drivers need to be fully aware of their surroundings. In North Las Vegas, Joshua Peguero, 8 News Now.